Can we um can we talk about another coach uh, that made some history this past week? Uh, we had oh, we had, have to. We have we had to. The, the the first uh, female uh, coach coaching uh, on on the court and uh, shout out to Becky Hammond, uh, WNBA legend, and now you know she's she's brought her talents over to the NBA in the coaching capacity for the uh, San Antonio Spurs. She's been there for a little while. She won the summer league uh, a couple of seasons ago. She's still with the Spurs. I think she's primed. She's being primed to take over. For Greg Popovich once he steps down, because I don't I don't see Greg Popovich sticking around for another five years. You know what I mean? Because we've actually been hearing about him leaving for the last five years. You know what I mean? So I think, you know, and, and what better tutelage to be under than Greg Popovich, who is a multiple championship head coach. Um, he's a great leader, great teacher. So to study under Greg Popovich, who's one of the all-time greats, I think she is, you know, primed to take over that that head coaching job once he retires. And you know, I, I think that she gets a lot of respect uh, from from the Spurs and just in, in the NBA in general. I think she gets a lot of respect because she, you know, she came into this into the into the league after after retiring in the WNBA NBA as as an all-time great, you know, in the WNBA. And then she she brought that same demeanor, that respect. And, and everything over to the San Antonio Spurs when she became a part of the, the coaching roster. And, you know, I thought it was an amazing thing to see her get her shot, um, you know, just being out there on the court, the, the first uh, female head coach. Shout out to Becky Hammond. Absolutely. Major shout out there. And you're right, Tripp. She is being groomed. Uh, we know Pop thinks highly of her. And as he said, you know, when, when they mentioned it the other day, is, you know, he gets ejected and you can assign any head coach or any assistant to take over. And he picked her. He said, there's a reason, you know, she knows what she's doing and she's great at the job. So that was his stamp of approval for the world to know. I'm sure those are the conversations they've had behind closed doors. Yeah. But now he wants the world to know, look, she's second in command here. So whether I step away, I get ejected, I take time off, she's going to be running the show. And I, it seems like the players are very receptive to her as well. So yeah. I think it's only a matter of time before she's head coach, whether it's San Antonio or somewhere else. No, that's a fact. That's a fact. And San Antonio is doing all right. I mean, I know my my guy Braun put a little trip dub on him. Miss Trip Dub, as as Unc like to say, should came to visit when they played them. But San Antonio is actually doing all right this season. Yo, this is Teresa Weatherspoon, better known as Teaspoon, and you're watching Real Fans, Real Talk. Live from the camp. Hey. Come on, Bye, you can't. Uh huh. This is Real Fans. Real Talk. Real fans, real talk, we as real as you thought.